Hello everyone, it's Anna here. Today I am going to show you uh, how to make a beach themed layout. I will be using um, this collection by Fabrica de Coru. Uh, the collection is called Sea Breeze and the Fabrica de Coru is the Ukrainian, um, Ukrainian manufacturer that creates papers, uh, embellishments like die cuts, and those are the die cuts from this collection, but they also uh, make uh, all sorts of uh, paints, um, acrylic, watercolors, some basic media like gesso, uh, texture paste, really the var variety of the products is so wide. They also made chipboards and uh, stencils and flare buttons uh, and I will be playing uh, with those products for uh, upcoming three months, presenting you six projects created with Fabrica de Coro um, uh, products. And I will start with this collection. I always have a bunch of uh, sea beach pictures uh, because we travel to the seaside every year and I found this series of pictures of my little daughter Maya playing uh, at the beach for the first time uh, and she loved that, she loved playing with the sand, uh, going into the water and uh, I really love this memory uh, from our vacation in France and I chose this paper to be a um, main point of my composition and I'm going to spread the beach and sea look over the white background behind it. I have a 8x8 inches um, paper pad from this collection. There is also a 12x12 paper pad uh, but uh, I, think, I thought I would try uh, this size first and uh, you have two, uh, two pieces of um, each pattern they are double, double sided and uh, you also have the cover we when you turn it around you will find uh, many elements to fussy cut you can also buy uh, only in this uh, this sheet this cover sheet uh, and you will have uh, the same designs but they are bigger so if you like to mix and match sizes this will be just perfect and there are also uh, die cuts uh, from this collection. As you can see, there is plenty of die cuts and they are really uh, good quality. Um, and I'm going to use some of them on my page. I will put you on uh, fast forward and I will uh, be back later with the voiceover. I am back with the voiceover and I start with 12 by 12 uh, watercolor paper sheet and I also marked where my paper will be placed after uh, uh, my background is dry and I'm also uh, highlighting the lines when the beach touches the sea or the sky however you see <laughs> you see this image um, and uh, I will be creating a background using various uh, colors and I started with liquid inks two colors aquamarine is the blue one and the orange uh, is the yellowish or orangish one and I also used uh, two magic powders lemon and berlin blue and I started with adding a little bit of water to the lemon color so I can activate the color and then applied it uh, onto the surface and when it still was wet I added a little bit of orange uh, liquid ink uh, and then I did uh, the same with the uh, blue part of the design I mixed burning blue and aquamarine colors and before they were dry I also added a little bit of acrylic paint called summer breeze to create kind of the smudges like uh, I would say clouds and I also opened the jar of white gesso to highlight the cloudy elements a little bit more and now I'm reaching for the gesso the gesso is quite thick so you can easily create um, 
kind of a texture and not maybe a texture as big as with the uh, texture paste but it still uh, gets the brush strokes visible and I was creating kind of a clouds I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure I was just uh, painting impulsively I wasn't thinking much of what I'm doing I just thought that a, a little bit of a lighter blue color will look good on the surface I do the same with the yellow part adding a little bit of white and then I thought that maybe I will add a little bit of a deco glaze paint the color is called sunny um, so it will highlight the areas I mixed it with water and it dries um, it dries with this uh, glossy surface and I thought it will look nice uh, on the background I am also adding a little bit of metallic paint uh, the color is called gold and I'm mixing it with gesso and water to make the color a little less intense uh, and when I was happy how the background looks I leave it to dry and uh, while it was drying I thought that I will cut out those white borders around my uh, ephemera pieces because I don't like them and many companies make them I think it's because of the machine that cuts off the uh, die cuts from the paper sheets and it needs this offset area um, but I like them when they are uh, just uh, borderless and I cut it cut them out uh, I uh, also sew around my paper that I chose for the layout base and added um, a piece of a cardboard only one layer because I wanted to lift it a little bit but not too much I didn't want this layout to be too bulky and when I uh, I done with that, I decided it's time to arrange the pictures, but my pictures were frameless. I wanted to add them some frames. This is also kind of <laughs> my signature style. I don't like my, um, my uh, pictures not having the borders. I chose one of the papers uh, from the uh, Sea Breeze paper pack, the one with this wooden pattern. <laughs> Sorry, it's my dog sneezing. And uh, I packed every picture with the same pattern. Uh, I was wondering maybe if I should pack some of them uh, uh, with the lighter frame, but then I thought it would be just too much, and I used the same paper to pack all the pictures. Mm. Uh, when they are uh, when they have frames they kind of pop off the page and I think they look just nicer and uh, and they stand out better so it's easier to highlight the pictures not the embellishments and pretty background and stuff like that because it's all about uh, pictures and story behind them after all right <laughs> And uh, I'm backing my pictures with pieces of cardboard to add dimension and I um, put some of them over the others so I need to level <laughs> the surface of the picture adding tiny bits of uh, cardboard here and there and <clears throat> I know it may look chaotic, but there is a sense in this madness, I promise you. And after I'm uh, finished with adding cardboard, they are all leveled nicely and some are raised a little bit above the others. And this is something what I wanted to achieve. Um, this white cardboard is very, very cheap one and I buy it in the A3 size uh, sheets. Uh, I pay like... Hmm, uh, like five euros per 100 sheets uh, I would say maybe maybe less and I really like using it in my scrappy projects and when I big when I glued down the pictures I started arranging the elements from the sea breeze collection I used the die cuts uh, from this collection and I wanted to create the kind of this beach scene with the seashells and crabs and uh, starfish just starfishes this is something that i had in my mind but i'm not sure <clears throat> you know the sea creatures that have a shape of star and after i glue everything down using 3d foam squares i cut it off because it was long and boring process 
I thought that the upper part of, lay of the layout looks a little bit empty because uh, it's nothing out there, there is no texture. So I added a uh, free uh, clouds that I just cut out from the white cardstock. I didn't sketch them. I just eyeball the shape of this uh, clouds uh, um, And I think they turned out quite well and I just glued them down using 3d foam uh, to raise them above the circles It creates this shadow and makes uh, the layout look more vivid and life full I would say a dynamic <laughs> maybe and after my clouds were done I thought it's time to add a title it would be a beach day and I chose to those wooden uh, stickers they are from I think some crate paper collection with the boy team hmm. hey kid I think I'm not sure I will uh, search for it and link it down below in the description box and uh, first I arranged the title like that but I then I thought I would change the words and the beach will go up, go up and uh, the day will go down and I liked it better that's why I glued the letters like this and my layout is almost done sorry for the change of lighting but I have the sun shining directly into the window in the afternoon and I had to close the shutters and it created this not very nice shadowing but it's almost over over I'm just adding some um, dots and drops they are the liquid enamel dots I would say and they works like charm they always come out perfect and I really like this product from Fabrica de Coru I chose two colors the white one and the mint one and this is the finished project it looks kind like a, um, like a painting I would say uh, the seashells uh, are watercolor paintings and they uh, look really good with the pictures I chose I will link you all the Fabrica Decoro products in the description box below and don't forget to check their uh, site they ship uh, all over the Europe I'm not sure if they ship uh, to the US but if in Europe I am pretty sure they do bye bye